it's all of our responsibility to be developing answers to the problem and challenges of climate change. It's important that smaller municipal governments are also taking the lead in addressing issues of climate change, and that's what we're doing by making these schools as close to net zero as possible. Schools are central buildings that an entire community will utilize. A city will build public works projects, infrastructure projects, and aside from maybe a city hall, there's not a lot of buildings that a city builds and owns that are used by the community. To take on a project of this magnitude, with this scope and with this scale of, of goals, and to be able to really leverage all of our internal capabilities to their fullest um, is a unique and, and really exciting privilege that Cambridge afforded us on this great project. So it's a whole complex actually. It's the King Open Elementary School, the Cambridge Street Upper School, which is middle school, uh, a new school administration building, a new branch library, a new swimming pool. To bring all this together and, and do it in a way that embraced sustainability was a challenge, but it was also an opportunity. So one of the things that we did on the design side was really start to zone out the building by use for the different groups, but also by building schedules so that we could turn off parts of the building when they weren't needed, but still have other sections of the building, such as the community use and the gymnasiums, up and running for extended hours. So that was a huge realization and an opportunity that we were able to take advantage of. The designers and engineers were able to pack in over 1.3 megawatts of power generation capacity onto the site of the school itself. Having a combination of partners like Opsun and Anchor and SMA helped us to design very flexibly and create a, a high quality project and with a very efficient design process. Partnering with SMA helped make the project successful because their core one inverter solution that we used allowed us to place inverters and place arrays very flexibly around the roof and accommodate all the various trades that um, needed to get their work done on the school. We were very fortunate to have some exceptional partners that allowed us to get there. We have a unique opportunity in Cambridge to really uh, build buildings that make a difference, and so we're going to take that opportunity. Schools are where we teach our kids how to be citizens, and I think there's no stronger way for a city to make a statement than by saying, here's how we're going to educate our youth. Um, and Cambridge is an incredible leader in that respect. Every building has the opportunity to become part of a broader conversation about sustainability, about how we respond to the challenges of climate change. We'd like to think that our building is an emphatic participant in that conversation. Schools in particular are a place where we have the ability to impact a lot of people, the people that go there for educational purposes as well as the community at large that ends up using the building. That's where change starts to happen. If municipalities around the country and around the world, if they start doing what we're doing in Cambridge, we're going to end up in a much better place. If only we can spread that message that you can generate your own energy cheaper than you get it from the grid. There's nothing more American than that. And I really hope that that message really pervades our, our entire country as quickly as possible.